just curious, going back to the university students now, do you see that the young students nowadays, they are all only looking into the West and they have forgotten about themselves? Yeah, I mean, the, the, when, I, when I think about the, the, the Korean society, I think the many young, young, young generation, I mean, the, the many people, young people, the, the my impression, actually they have already have their many experience in, in foreign countries, you know, especially in Europe or US. For example, when I, when I think about my students, and, and then they realize actually, you know, the, of course, I mean, many of them still, they have fantasy about, you know, the Western culture or Western, you know, the tradition or whatever. But um, also many of them, they, they actually, they realize actually it's nothing. It's not nothing, but I mean, still, you know, they, and then, you know, they, they actually, they, because of that kind of experience, I mean, they, they open, they open widely about, you know, their, by themselves, about, by the, you know, who I am or like identity or, you know, what is something new from, from myself or ourselves. You know, and, and people start to think about that kind of things. Also, I realized many, many young people, they, many, many young students in my school, they, they are quite confident with um, Western, you know, the society or Western culture or Western dance. In the past was, of course, I mean, the, even when I think about my time, when I was young, like something 20s or even that time, you know, the many people admired the Western, you know, dance. But these days, of course, still many people do that. But um, also, I found that actually they are quite confident of the, you know, the, but again, you know, the, then, so what is the, the alternative or what is, you know, something new from us or something, you know, what is different to us? Then we don't have any answer yet or we don't have any, you know, the interesting view or interesting idea yet. So it's kind of, you know, again, this is kind of the transition period. Mm. It takes time, it takes mm. time. But uh, for example, like, uh, the, the the many young young students in my school, they they are quite relaxed with uh, using the, the video or online, very very relaxed because they are quite already quite used to it, the IT technology. And then I explain with, uh, for example, you know, in my class I explain with this kind of things with the Buddhist the Buddhist idea, like a, you know, you know, typical Buddhist idea is you know everything is Maya and fantasy and and this is fantasy and that how can we use this kind of things and mm. so I explain with the you know, Buddhist theory, and then many students they are quite interested in this kind of concept, and mm. then they start to apply. You know, the, the of course, I mean, like you know, the, the I don't know, the, the, I, I actually I don't like you know East and West, you know, that kind of concept. But I mean, you know, there's something more like a, our tradition, like you know, the idea. But they they try to apply even the very you know the Western style dance, like a ballet, or whatever. Then they create new one, and yeah, yeah, it's quite interesting. So. Yeah, we have to do more about that kind of thing. So, with your understanding of this COVID situation and implication on the young people, and you're very observant yeah, as you shared so much, whether it's about value, whether it's in terms of the, the funding situation, or whether there are new uh, buzz of ideas coming out in the arts and culture industry. I'm just curious about the last thing that I would like to ask is about what do you see in terms of the, the prospect of this university students graduating from the arts and education sector? Hmm. I mean, <laughs> it, it, again, this is very, very big question. And also, you know, the, I don't know, the, I don't know the, our future, of course. But uh, I hope, I hope the, 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 we need a more network, I think. Networking is quite important for young, young students. To, to exchange their idea, especially the, the when I think about the, the, the Korea, actually the day, many young people I, I found they are very interested in the Southeast Asia a lot. And they want to, you know, to know more about, you know, the Southeast Asian dance and, you know, like, a, like a, you know, the Vietnam, Cambodia, or, or Thailand, or Singapore. Yeah. They want to know more about this kind, you know, the, the culture and history. And then they want to work together so it's not only you know Europe, but also you know the, they are very interested in Asia. So I think that we have to, the the the, the you know young actually the young people you know in Korea especially you know, they are very they most of them they have very open minded they have very open mind. So they want to also they I found that they really want to work with the many Asian you know the, the dancers or 
students, young people. So maybe we have to give more chance to do that. Then maybe we can find more interesting things. Certainly. And thank you so much, Professor So for sharing so much today. Uh, because what we have actually shared is so much complex issues that is actually around us and we are just hopeful to see the hopefully that the pandemic really bring more benefits than threats and really allow us to champion for a new direction for us education to do better in university and also in the arts and culture sector and certainly i do agree with you continue to build the networks continue to open the eyes with young people continue to share you know that it's not just about looking outside of your own region but also have to look inside with our sense of beauty values and identity so Kansamira, thank you very thank much you. for joining us for Go Grow Glow Forum 2021 thank you